Hey guys, how's it going? Karen Thomas to camp here. <coughs> we are just coming up to the midway point of Genesis. I've got it all marked down, basically. Genesis chapter 24 is a long one coming up. I'll get to Genesis chapter 25 after this chapter because we're on Genesis chapter 23. So let's just dive right in. <coughs> and Sarah was a hundred and seven and twenty years old. These were the years of the life of Sarah. And Sarah died in Kirjath Arba, the same as Hebron in the land of Canaan. And Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. And Abraham stood up from before his dead and spake unto the sons of Heth, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner, and with you give me a possession of a burying place with you that I may bury that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And the children of Heth answered Abraham, saying unto him, Hear us, my Lord, thou art a mighty prince among us in the choice of our sepulchres. Bury thy dead. None of us shall withhold from thee this his sepulchre, but that thou mayest bury thy dead. <clears throat> and this is verse 7. And Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of Heth. And he communed with them, saying, If it be your mind that I should bury my dead out of my sight, hear me, and entreat me for me to Ephron the son of Zoar, that he may give me the cave of Mac Machpelah. <laughs> That's a hard word to say, a hard name to say, which he hath which is in the end of his field, for as much money as it is worth, he shall give it to me, give it me for a possession of a burying place amongst you. And Ephron dwelt among the children of Heth, and Ephron the Hittite answered Abraham in the audience of the children of Heth, even of all that went in at the gate of this of the city saying now my lord nay my lord hear me the field give i thee and the cave that is therein i give it thee in the presence of the sons of my people give i it thee bury thy dead and abraham bowed down himself before the people of the land and he spake unto ephron in the audience of the people of the land saying but if thou wilt give it thee, give it, I pray thee, hear me. I will, I will give thee money for the field, take it of me, and I will bury my dead there. And Ephron answered Abraham, saying unto him, My lord, hearken unto me, the land is worth four hundred shekels of silver. What is that betwixt me and thee? Bury therefore thy dead. And Abraham hearkened unto Ephron, and Abraham weighed to Ephron the silver which he had named in the audience of the sons of Heth, four hundred shekels of silver, current money, with the merchant. And the field of Ephron, which was in Machpelah, was, which was before Mamre, the field and the cave, which was therein, and all the trees that were in the field, that were in all the borders, round about, were made sure. Unto Abraham for a possession in the presence of the children of Heth, before all that went in at the gate of his city. And after his, this, Abraham buried Sarah, his wife, in the cave of the field of Mach, Machpelah, before Mamre. The same as Hebron in the land of Canaan, and the field and the cave that is therein were made sure unto Abraham 
for possession for a burying place by the sons of Heth. Amen. That's verse 20. Mm. Like I said, this was a short chapter. Wake up edition. November 24th, 2024. Uh, it's a red sky in the morning. Sailors take warning, just to let you know. So. Everyone just watch out. Much love. Peace out. God bless.